Hello everyone, uh, this is Ning. Today I'm going to show you how to create a master details uh, web control without coding. So let me get started. So I'm going to create a new website. So click file, new website. And then I'm going to give this website name uh, as uh, master details click ok and I'm going to switch to the solution explore view and I'm going to create a new uh, subdirectory called uh, app underscore data so that later on I can uh, put my existing database yeah, under that sub folder okay, and then let me add the existing database and let me navigate to the location of my database which is the Northwind uh, SQL database and then I'm going to click add there you go then I'm going to create a new web form so make sure that you click the root directory of your application first and right click the mouse button click add add a, a, a new item and then I'm going to add a new web form so click select the web form and I'm going to use the default name click add I'm going to switch to the design view and since my master uh, web control will be a drop down list so I'm going to just uh, do a drag and drop over there and I'm going to config the data source first then I'm going to select the new data source option and since it is an SQL database so I'm going to select the SQL database click OK then I'm going to click the drop down menu to see what databases are there for me since there is only one so I'm going to select the north wind and then I can click the plus sign to see uh, the path uh, to the database which is correct I'm going to click next again next again and the table I will be using will be the uh, customer table okay so let me select the uh, customers table and then uh, I will need a customer ID and then uh, company name uh, two will be fine okay and then click next or oh, before I click next you can see uh, the software automatically construct the SQL command for me which is the select command I'm going to click next right now I do a quick quick test so far so good click finish and then for the data field the data field uh, I'm going to uh, use the value from the company name but then the uh, data field uh, for the value okay, of the drop down list I'm going to keep it uh, to the uh, custom ID click OK uh, there you go so I'm going to do a quick test before I construct the uh, details control do the test right now start the application without debugging and let me click the drop down list so far so good okay so far so good okay and then and let me close this application first okay I mean the browser okay the browser okay and now I'm going to uh, construct my uh, detail uh, details uh, control and then the one I will be using will be from the data uh, category and then I will be using the details view control okay. you can pick other type of controls but let's try the easier one okay. so I'm going to construct the uh, data source and SQL database click OK and since uh, the constructions 
uh, screen to the database has been constructed already so I'm going to use the one that uh, has been stored in the web.config file so let me do a double check in there you go which is correct I'm going to click click next and then since I want to display the details information about a customer so I'm going to select the uh, customers table and then uh, assume I'm going to display all the fields yeah, so I will just use the uh, asterisk wildcard character however uh, which customers information to display it will be de will be depends on uh, which customer got selected from the drop-down list okay, so I have to use the where clause okay, so I'm going to click where and then I'm going to click the okay, column option over here and then uh, for the uh, field I will use to uh, to check uh, the value got selected from the drop-down list okay, uh, will be the custom ID and then for the uh, operator to use I just want to use uh, equal to of course I mean you can use uh, greater than less than uh, like not like and other operators but I just want to keep it simple yeah, and then the source of the control okay, uh, will be from a drop down list okay, which is a control type so select control and then for the uh, parameter used okay, after the equal operator okay, uh, it will be uh, the uh, properties okay, from the uh, drop down list okay, so let me select the drop down list okay, and then you can put a default value over there but now it's okay since uh, uh, we don't need it okay. uh, anyway and then you can see uh, this is the uh, uh, parameter setting okay, after the where cross before I click the add uh, button so let me click add and you can see uh, this will be the uh, where close okay, which means custom ID equal to uh, custom ID but then the add custom ID's value will get it from drop down list selected the value okay, and let me click let me click OK and then uh, you can double check that uh, where to see whether uh, the uh, select uh, SQL command uh, is uh, the way has constructed the way it, uh, you want or not which is correct so I'm going to click next to a test okay since I do not input any value over there so I'm going to click OK I'm going to click finish okay and then uh, let me expand the field okay uh, a little bit larger here and make sure that okay, uh, you select the drop down list and then enable the uh, auto post uh, auto post back uh, function or feature so now let me test the application. Yeah, and you can see the value has been uh, displayed for customer uh, AO Fred, and then I can select another customer. There you go. The new customers details information got displayed. I can try another one. There you go. So far, so good. Okay, so let me minimize this one. Okay, and then I think that's it. Of course, I mean you can um, click the auto format okay, uh, and pick whatever previewed uh, format from Microsoft okay, to make your application uh, look nicer okay, if you want to. Okay, and uh, let me pick Ocean Nika. Click apply okay and then you can run the application again and select an item 
there you go. So you can see this is a, a, a very simple way of creating a master and details uh, web application without coding. Have a good day.